Hello. Well, can you believe we're in September? And I am just a few days away from the big trip to Scotland and Ireland. So excited. Of course, I'm never prepared and I'm always trying to chase my tail most of the time. But I know you, all of you that are going are very excited. It was a long time coming and this is a very high spiritual journey. For those that you want that weren't able to go this time, don't worry. We'll be going again in the future. I don't know if it'll be the combination of the trips, or it'll be just Scotland or just Ireland, but we will be going back and it'll be amazing as well. Okay, um, I'm just gonna jump right in to the cards. And the first one is Colette Byron Reads, Oracle of the Seven Energies. Let's look for this up and coming week. Perfect harmony. What this reminds me of just looking at it is like when an orchestra is performing, there's no one that's supposed to outdo the other. They're all supposed to be in harmony working with one another. And when they're just doing their part in the way they should, it all comes together. And I almost think that this is like, um, this is like a trip, right? We each have our own parts. Nobody's over barreling to anybody else, overbearing, not barreling <laughs> to anybody else. And it all works together. So let's see what she has to say. Togetherness, healthy and harmonious partnerships, commitment to a relationship, collaboration with others, and interdependence. You're receiving, you're entering a time of healthy, harmonious partnerships. Collaboration is key here as you're invited to explore the potential inherent in making a commitment to yourself, a group, or even others. Know that you're bringing different gifts to the table. You don't have to be in exact partnership with everyone else. Bring your authentic self actually brings you into alignment with others. You are a note in a harmony that neither overpowers nor is overpowered by anyone. Your beautiful interdependence allows you all to shine. Just keep an eye out for a sign that your subconscious, which has been conditioned by your previous hurts and experiences is working in a way not in accord with what your healthy self intends. For example, you may desire a relationship but expect to be betrayed, so you in unconsciously sabotage it. You may see water, I'm sorry, you say you, you say you want to lose weight, but continue to eat compulsively and avoid exercise. Oops, how many of us are guilty of that one? And this disharmony spills out into all other parts of your life. If this is happening, you might want to make a hard look at, take a hard look at yourself, do a self inventory. What's really great about this is how quickly you are able to return the, to turn this around have no fear it is so easy to get back in tune and it takes all it takes is self-honesty and a willingness to heal you can do it you really this really is such a fortunate time I like that so work together don't be in competition and see everybody's gifts equally. Oops, I forgot to put this card in. One second. Okay, we're going to <clears throat> Rebecca Campbell's The Rose Deck next. And let's see what card for the week is. The Wild Rose. Do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness. Untamed. I think of when we think of a wild rose, 
it grows crazy away from everything else. It's moving in its own direction, doing its own thing. So when we think of that, yeah, you embrace your uniqueness for sure. So we're getting a dual message here from the last two. And let me find the wild rose. All right, where are you? Last one. The wild rose, do it your way, embrace your uniqueness untamed. If someone says that you're not normal, say thank you. If someone says that you're not doing, what you're doing isn't normal, say it. Uh, say naturally. The wild rose knows that no rose is the same as another. It says she doesn't try to bloom in a perfect neat row according to a schedule. She doesn't open and close according to who walks by. She trusts her blooming and the timing. She's resilient. She knows that she is. The wild rose knows her true unique nature and she wants you to remember yours too. She knows that what makes you wild makes you free. Boy, isn't that nice? That's it, that it's what kept us contained that's causing us harm. That our drama, unique nature, oh, diverse nature, sorry, is what's needed now more than ever. This card comes with an intuition to what would make you feel more free, to trust in the way things that make you stand out, to realize that you were never meant to fit in. You were never meant to grow in a perfect cultivated way. You were never meant to bloom in union with someone else. You were never meant to be captive or controlled. Nature is full of diversity. It's imperative to its survival and it is to ours too. So be, be who you are and who you came here to be. Express what you came here to express. Sing the song that you came here to sing. Together the wild ones will be the ones who set us all free. And the question is, I free myself of what, of what keeps me capture. I allow the wildness in me to be free. Very good. So kind of two cards so far that have been kind of the same kind of message. All right. Mystical, we're going to the, what did I do with them? Oh, they're over here. Mystical wisdom. Those are whimsical ones. Let's pull a card for this up and coming week. Dragon. Discover your courage. Look at that dragon. We love dragons. Dragons have lots of courage with that fire-breathing breath. Dragon. It says, the dragon represents courage, strength, and fortitude. The dragon is victorious in any situation and serves as a powerful guide and guardian in all endeavors. Victory comes in emotional triumph and healing of old wounds or competitive, I'm sorry, or completed completion of a project. A surprise is looming for you that will create one of the most wonderful moments of your life. This is a message of glorious accomplishments 
that will set the standards for you yet to come. Congratulations. Mantra, my desire is coming to fruition. Ooh, we like that, right? Perfect. All right. We're going into the secret language of light. Love this, the divine feminine. Look at the equality there, the beautiful shining colors and gold. This is what we're going to do to awaken more of the divine feminine in these countries. Wow, it's beautiful. So when I look at that, that's what it reminds me of the trip. Look beyond the obvious and the superficial into the heart of a matter. Peer deep into the hidden and explore the mysterious. Remember your vast potential and the unlimited possibilities available to you. It is time to trust your intuition, your inner voice, and your instincts. This may also be a time for stillness, for there are unseen forces at work orchestrating the whole universe as being intense and beautiful experiences in your life. Allow yourself to receive all that you want. You are the mother of all you create. That's awesome, huh? Nurture yourself in all that flows within and around you. There may be an intent, impending marriage or birth around you, either physically or symbolically. The Divine Feminine wants you to know there is always enough to go around. Abundance is everywhere. Embrace joy. Yeah, that's a gorgeous card. All right. We've got one more to go. And we are going to pull this magical card. We haven't done this in a while. This is Star Temple Oracle. One more card for the week. Father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. Look at, he looks like Atlas. And that's what it reminds me, holding the world up. Don't we all feel that way sometimes that we're Oh my God, we're holding the whole world up. And sometimes we just forget that we just need to let it go. It says, Star Words, a divine masculine king and creator. Atlas carries the weight of the world on his shoulders. He implores you to release your burdens to the Father in the sky for transmutation. It is time to heal and unify the divine masculine in the world. Maybe you need to forgive a father figure for your own transformation. Perhaps you have way too much on your plate. Whatever it may be, it is time to release, surrender, and delegate. Ask for help. Atlas supports your higher pathway. Call on him to help you make energetic space for passion, purpose, and abundance in every area of your life. And you know, um, I always tell people this, they don't think of this. Atlas is one of the ascended masters too. We have uh, Hercules is one of the ascended masters. And don't they all have their gifts, right? And so when you're thinking of Hercules or Atlas or strong ones, physically strong, you can channel them for your body or when you have to lift something that looks like it would be way too heavy for you you can just call on them and invoke them to help you also athena in greece was very much known for her strength and um where the first olympics came and all of that so you can call on athena to help you run the distance or do whatever it is you need to do try it this week you'll be so glad that you did we don't have to carry the load by ourselves thank you